guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, mag-share ako ng mga books and references for freshman RK students. So yung mga um, ipapakita kong references, pwede kayong bumili ng mismong book or you can just download a PDF. So may isa akong website na nakita and pwede kayo doon mag-download ng mga architectural books which is archive.org. Meron din doon um, audio. So kung tinatamad kayong magbasa, Pwede kayong makinig lang habang may ginagawa. So, let's start. Yung first reference is, or book is Architecture, Form, Space, and Order, 3rd edition by Francis D. K. Ching. So, yung makikita nyo doon, mga contents is um, yung mga primary elements, which is point, line, plane, and volume. And all about forms, yung um, transformation of forms. For example, from a cube, tapos may dinagdag kayo or may... Uh, tinapias ka yung portion and you come up with your final form. So, ayun, evolution of form. Magandang presentation yun for plates or sa skis nyo. So, minsan yun din yung hinahanap ng mga props, yung evolution of form. Paano kayo nag-come up with that form? So, may tatlo, which is um, dimensional transformation, additive form, which is magdadagdag kayo ng elements from your main um, main form. For example, cube or kung ano man yan. So last is yung subtractive form, which is magsusubtract kayo ng portion from that cube or kung ano pa mang shape yun. And then din yung mga regular, irregular uh, forms. Then all about space and then order. So doon makikita nyo. So next reference is Architectural Graphics, 6th edition by Francis D. K. Ching again. So ayan. So yung makikita nyo doon is mga um, unang, unang topic doon is uh, drawing tools or materials, uh, for example, yung mga mech pen, tech pen, uh, triangular scale, T-square. So, and then, uh, next topic then is architectural drafting, yung usage of line weights, importance of line weights, and mga drafting techniques. Then, um, architectural perspectives, yung mga um, horizon line, ground plane, Mga, uh, paano mag one point perspective, two point perspective, three point perspective, so and on. And then, architectural presentations, and then, then kung paano mag present, like for example, sa skis nyo or sa plate nyo, magandang presentation. Yun, rendering tonal values um, from light to dark, yung tamang pag shade, yung paggamit ng um, B, HB, 4H, sa mga um, pencils, nandon. And yung mga um, stippling, scribbling, cross-hatching, hatching, nandun. And landscaping, meron din shadows, kung paano mag-portray ng shadows. Uh, for example, kung paano yung magiging itsura ng shadow ng isang cube or object. And then, depende kung anong angle yung sunlight or yung light ray. So, for example, 45 degrees yung sunlight and then your object. Kung ano yung magiging itsura ng shadows. So, ayun. And lettering. Nandun din yung lettering. pag arkin naman, nakakaps lock lang naman tayo. Uppercase. Never tayo na uppercase. So, ayun. Yung lettering, agay yun kapag sa unang part, papasulatin kayo ng um, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog ng iba't ibang font height or text height, font size. Ayun. Minsan, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and then uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.4. Then, may isa pa. Nakalimutan ko lang. First year na kasi yun. So, ayun. Kalimitan naman, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. 0 0.3 yung text height, and then 0 0.2 yung spacing, and then 0 0.3 text height again. So, ayan. So, third reference or book is A Visual Dictionary of Architecture by Francis D. K. Ching. So, uh, from the title itself, it's a dictionary that provides an accurate um, definition with illustrations or detailed drawings. Malaking tulong yung mga drawings and illustrations na nandun kasi mas madali natin natatandaan yung mga terms and kung ano mang tawag dun sa part na yun. So, for example, ng content dun is all about arc. So, andon yung um, mismong illustration ng arc and then kung ano yung parts na bumubuo sa arc. So, for example, yung keystone, yung intrados, extrados, yung archivolt. So, andon So, mas madali natin natatandaan kasi may mga illustrations na. And from arcs to columns, to beams, to constructional materials, to building materials, yun nga, bricks, metal, Concrete, doors, all about doors, all about windows, parts ng windows, doors, yan. And mga, um, mga concepts, every concept, detailed concepts na importante sa mga architects nandun. 
Fourth reference is for HOA, or History of Architecture by Bannister Fletcher. Freshman, uh, first sem, HOA 1, History of Architecture 1. Yung topic niyo din is about prehistoric civilization or prehistoric architecture. So, yung mga um, Greek architecture, um, Roman architecture, uh, Egyptian, Sumeranian. Naman, sa reference na yun, makakatulong yun sa inyo. Um, for example, sa Egypt, yung uh, first pyramid, which is the step pyramid of Djoser. And then, architect is si Imhotep. So, ayun. And then, yung mga pyramid of Giza or pyramid of Khufu, uh, ziggurat of Ur. If I'm not mistaken, yung ziggurat ay sa Sumeranian ba? And then, um, yung sa Greek, yung three distinctive columns nila, which is um, Doric, Ionic, Corinthian. And then, sa, and then nung sa Roman, uh, inadapt nila yung, uh, yung orders ng, ng Greek. So, naging five orders, which is the simplified form of um, Doric, is Tuscan. And then, Doric, Ionic, Corinthian. And then, the combination of Ionic and Corinthian, which is the composite. 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 Hindi ko alam yung tama pronunciation. Basta, basta ganito yung spelling. <laughs> so, ayun. So, doon din pala sa, sa reference na yun, nandun yung mga influences, mga um, architectural characteristics, yung walls, yung floor plan, yung plan, yung mga ornaments, column, moldings, roofs, and architectural character pa. Fifth reference is Planning and Designer's Handbook, second edition by Max Fajardo Jr. So, uh, walang PDF to eh. Hindi ko lang sure. Pero, bumili kasi kami ng mismong book. 250 lang naman yon sa National Bookstore. Ayun. Isang block kami. Yung boom block namin. Bumili nung libro na yon. Malaking tulong siya for a freshman. For first year. Kasi nandun yung mga basic. Uh, kumbaga yung mga dapat matutunan muna. Before designing. Before planning. Kasi nandun yung mga, um, for example, saan maganda i-locate yung bedroom, yung kitchen, yung CR, yung toilet and bath. So, nandun. And then, yung mga um, for example, all about living room, meron doon. All about bedroom, all about kitchen, all about dining, all about um, toilet and bath. Yung mga furnitures, dimensions ng furnitures, dimensions ng fixtures, nandun. Yung um, minimum area ng habitable room, nandun. And uh, meron din doon yung um, for PWD, yung considering PWD yung toilet and bath for PWD, nandun. So malaking bagay yun para sa mga freshmen kasi madami kayong matututunan doon. And meron din, sa unang part lang yun, sa huling part, meron din mga retail, paano mag-design ng retail shops, jewelry shops. Hindi ko na matanda kasi hindi ko masyadong nabubuklat yung dulong part. So ayun, nandun din yung mga anthropometric measurements. Or, and yun din pala, minsan, um, dati kasi yung si architect, nagpa-research works siya ng mga dimensions ng mga furnitures, lahat. So ayun, pakapala ng pages kami, magkakaklase, magkakabla. So malaking bagay yung... Um, Planning and Designer's Handbook ni Max Fajardo kasi sobrang laking tulong niya nung, first, nung freshman kami kasi yun lagi yung binubuklat namin every time may skis, every time na may bagong plate. Doon kami naka-base, doon kami naka-depende. So, Shoutout nga pala kay Bunao kasi kinulit ko siya na picturean and i-video yung book niya kay Max Fajardo kasi yung book ko nasa dorm and hindi ko dala dito sa province. So, ayan. Thank you, Bunao. So, last book na um, ipapakita ko sa inyo or i-discuss ko sa inyo is sobrang importante sa mga architects and sa atin din which is National Building Code of the Philippines. So, it is a set of rules and regulations na kailangan um, natin i-consider sa pagpaplano, sa pagdidesign and all. So, lahat dapat ng plans naka-inline sa provisions stated sa National Building Code. Um, so, for example, ito, tandang-tanda namin itong building code na to kasi nung first year kami, uh, pinag-design kami ng uh, mixed-use development, which is um, ground floor, commercial, and then second floor is residential. So, yung may-ari is PWD. So, ayun, tagulo kami sa ramp, kung paano yung ground floor to second floor, yung ramp, kung gano'ng kahaba yung ramp. And then, ayun, search, search. So, BP344, which is the accessibility law, an act to enhance the mobility of disabled persons. So, ayun, nandun, naka-provide naka doon yung mga minimum minimum standards, minimum requirements para sa mga disabled person. Yung, um, yung circulation nila sa space na yon, yung ramp, kung gaano kahaba yung ramp dapat, yung um, ratio ng ramp, which is 1 is to 12. Pag 1 meter, yung um, change of elevation, 12 meters dapat yung haba ng ramp. And then every 6 meters, if I'm not mistaken, is dapat may landing. 
So ayon, every six meters may landing, and then another six meters ganon. So yung design um, plan, design plan, location, construction, ng mga public and private private buildings and structures dapat na inline sa provisions stated sa National Building Code of the Philippines. So ayon, um, wala akong PDF nito. Kasi sinesearch ko lang siya minsan. Bawa, may kailangan lang akong hanapin. Sinesearch ko lang. But I'll try to find a PDL, PDF file. And ilalagay ko na lang sa description ba. And dun din pala sa National Building Code, nandun din yung mga um, minimum requirements and standards when it comes to planning. And nandun din yung mga setbacks. Yung um, setbacks sa front, left, right, and sa rear. So, andun. So, for example, um, kapag may road, Ano yung kailangan setbacks? And then, ganun. May mga libro. May libro ng building codes sa Shopee or Lazada. But I don't know if it's legit. Yung as in, um, orig, orig book. So, I don't know. So, pero, may mga ilan na bumibili doon. So, that's it for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like my video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. And click the notification bell. If you have any request video about Arki, just drop it in the comment section. And thanks for watching!